to the next dot, now it's fuck that where the checks at. Finessing, uh, get back to the work, ain't no resting. Uh, when I caught a L, I learned my lesson. Uh, now I count my money, count my blessing. Uh, it's my favorite, because it's my girl's favorite color. But hands down, because this is, I said they only picked four cars, but it was way, bro. This is the fifth car they pay that they love more. That top of their list of cars in this car. So, because they have way more cars that they lot that they like and that they've been worked on. But they even brought some of their favorites here to show us. And I'm getting to see them before anybody else. So, I'm lucky. But check it out. Boom. You guys probably don't even know what this is from. Because I don't. I thought it was from a, a movie. It's not, though. I'll take a let y'all look around it first. I should do the slow B roll. Okay, look. You can tell the support by the back, by this. Cause that's not supposed to be there. That's just the body kit that was put on. But you can always tell the Porsche by the bag. Porsche, they have kept their design. Like I said, their car design. This is a way newer car, way older car. They have kept their design the same for years. You feel? Um, I was watching a video on Porsches and they said that they feel like when they made the first Porsche, they got it right with the body design. They feel like it's the perfect racing car. They just do a little touch to the back end. The back end is the only thing they change up. The lights, the fixtures, the mirrors, tiny things. But shape-wise, form-wise, where the motor is placed, where if y'all don't know, Porsches, motors in the back, where the motors are shaped, I mean, where the motors are shaped, <laughs> where the motors are placed, how the car is shaped, that stays the same. Um, all that stays genuine and true to itself because, like I said, they felt like when they did the first one, they got it perfectly right. They didn't do nothing wrong, and they feel like they shouldn't change it. They just feel like they have to tweak the touches of the car, little things. I love Porsches. They're at the top of my list. I love Porsches. They're my favorite cars. That's why I want to say these for last. Like I said, this is 80000 and if you're wondering why I'm waiting to tell you this price of the car, this one, it doesn't even have, look, this has that window shield wiper. This doesn't even have that. But because it's a race car, so I understand. It has a way different body build and kit design. That's, that, this, it's for if it catches a fire. Cause these cars will catch on fire. Because it's a race car, not because it's Porsche. Fuck y'all, Porsche very reliable cars. Then they got two of them. Stick shift. Oh my god, that looks so crazy. I'll <clears throat> kill that stick shift. But yeah, so like I said, it's on um, what you call it, Edward. Oh. It's it's the Porsche coming today. It is coming today. My other baby is coming today. Yes. So they say, but I've been waiting for it all day for a twelve-hour shift. So maybe let's see. You feel? But this one, $10 million for this car. Doesn't even have windshield wipers. But a $10 million car. I guess it won a famous race. Um, Don't even... Do you know the name of the race that this car won? No. I forget. Um, It's something. But it, this car is known for winning a famous race. It is worth $10 million. This is no exaggeration. No... $10 million for this car. And it's owned by two people. An auto dealership slash thing and a one man. And the only reason it's owned by both of them is because I think he bought it and they worked on it and restored it for him and helped him get it to where it is. But yeah, when he bought it, it was $4.8 million when he bought it. As soon as he bought it, it went to retail price, you feel? Tripled in value. No, doubled in value. And then, beautiful, you feel? Um, so, 
is way more worth than what he paid for. So it wasn't stupid buy by far. Only reason to buy like this could be stupid is it depreciates in value, crashes, gets too much mileage, something happens to it. And that only happens if you're doing something like, hmm, see a little damage right here. Something like, what would you, racing it like a fucking idiot, like I just said. And that's exactly what these people do to this beautiful, well-built car. They race it. He's not trying to stack it up, not trying to resell it for his kid. He just races it. He loves to enjoy and race it. And that's lit. I wish I had enough money to spend $4.8 million to race a car. Really cool. Amazing. If I could open this door a little bit. Oh, this door is too light. I feel fake. I don't like it no more. It feels weird. Still a Porsche. Look, that's the old school Porsche key. I'll tell you, know it's the old school. Steering wheel, old school, everything old school. Got the bucket seats in here, only one. No cockpit, the only one up in here. So, <laughs> this is for the gears. So you know what gear you in always. Cause that doesn't say. It. 10 mil for this. If you want something like this, you feel. $10 million. That's a race car. That's crazy. I love it though. It's beautiful. Nice. Cause I love Porsche. But if I was to get a Porsche, like I said, I couldn't have a Porsche that everybody has. So unless I'm dropping 10 mil, probably won't be having a Porsche that nobody has. But I will go four door just to have something different like no one else has. You feel? But yeah, he races this. It's a beautiful car though. I wouldn't race it. I'll keep it up in like a garage or something. That is stacked value. Took gets three times, four times the worth and sell it. But no, he just races it. Hopefully he doesn't crash or run it up too much. So it can still hold value, but it's a beautiful car. Loving it. All right. Bye. Okay. I need to get more chapstick on. I'm so sad I didn't have everything on point. My hair, my looks, my outfit. I didn't have everything on point for this video. Wasn't looking good, but I felt good. I felt amazing, loved the whole video, but it didn't look too good. So not too really big on that, but big video for me because I don't get to do stuff like this all the time. Like I said, I'm broke, so I would never get to see any of these cars or just touch them or sit in them if it wasn't for these guys letting me just see their stuff and you know, taking a tour around. Um, hopefully I get invited to their dealership maybe one day i get to see some of this stuff fresh off the line and i get to show it to y'all but right now um i'm trying to be a photographer and that's why i started talking to them because i want to take pictures of their cars for them and hopefully this video goes good and everything goes well i could um take some more videos for them fill pictures help them with their stuff and they help me with my stuff pushing stuff you feel but they already a big enough name without me they don't need me just saying make their pictures look better help them with their stuff you feel stuff like that I'm trying to get my um photography career on start yeah. stuff like that yeah, but yeah like i said appreciate them to let me get a sneak peek first look into their sh auto room showing room of what they set up and yeah beautiful i would have never got a chance to do any of this if it wasn't for them i appreciate it Thanks. Right there. All, right, All right, I'm out of here. But see, they not even done with the lighting. They're still in the like prime works and making all this stuff looks even more beautiful. It's gonna look even more better when it's done. It's gonna look even better, better, better when it's done. It looks amazing. It looks wonderful. They have a great collection of cars and a great team <laughs> of car showers and what all that good stuff um yeah see they're not even done yet they still cleaning the cars they still making sure they're perfect and pretty but i'm finna head out of here because i'm done for the day um i shot my video my content my little bit and i talked to y'all about what i want to talk to um, all right thank you i appreciate it hey, i'm out of here man. i'll see you tomorrow oh, right on, thanks it. man have a yeah. good night you too be safe <laughs> we'll see all right, and yeah, I'll post y'all in it. Thank you. I right, appreciate it. Look, right here. Good shout out. Thank you. Good stuff. I do great stuff.
Um, those so nice people, such nice people. Oh my God, I can't, I can't thank them enough. I'm overwhelmed. That just <sighs> amazing people that let me just come tour their car, their garage basically. Um, that was me at the LA car show, unopened. Nobody's even supposed to be recording in here. As soon as I walk out of this lobby, as soon as I walk through those doors, they will yell at me to turn off my phone. Because no one can have phones in here. No one can take pictures. No one can do any of this stuff. Recording a video this long on each single one of these cars, they would murder me. My job, I'm not supposed to have my phone out, on, phone out on my job, even to look at the time for a second. They would kill me for any of this. They would murder me. Chop me up like I was in a third world country and throw me in the lake. But just because these guys big head honchos bosses and whatnot they let me do whatever i want because they said so and you can't go against the bosses you feel they paid my boss's checks you feel that's why i could do what i want but that was my day at the la auto convention auto show but it was unopened you feel it's not even open not finished yet so when y'all see it it'll be something a little bit better more lights more stuff you feel more good stuff you feel they're gonna have like two three more cars come up in here and I'm, I'm gonna talk to them tomorrow and yeah see them tomorrow i got work again another 12 hour shift getting that money on top of you know trying to make my life and my hustle work and my dreams you feel and i'm trying to take this photography thing serious i'm trying to take my bread to find me a real nice camera to do that um and yeah y'all see some more of myself when i post let's we'll see what the next video is going to be about Till then, Oops. But I do want to show it just because it's a V24. V24. No, just, but no, I never seen that before. I thought that was real cool. And it's a one seater. I thought that was real cool and stupid. I guess it's a race car. I don't know what this is. Is this from a show, a TV show? I don't know. But yeah. If you wonder what's that beeping that just suddenly appeared in my video, it's these guys. Like I said, they're still working. So there's still a lot of going on. I'm in their way, actually, so I can't even be talking. I can't even be talking about anything too much. Shouldn't even be having my phone up in here because none of this stuff is released to the public yet. So I can't even post this till after. So it's going to make, like, no sense to post. But still, I got in here before anybody. So I just wanted to let you guys know that and see that. You see why I'm top flight, you feel me? Of the world. And what the security guard didn't do for you. No, I'm just playing. Security guard don't do this for you. Mouthpiece do. Like I got. You feel? Talk to them people nice. They do nice things for you. I love these people though. I got them though. And gas. Like I said, Galpin is the dealership. Gas is there. People that, you know, do the designing and stuff. So I really appreciate the editor now. Um, Thank y'all for not even knowing my last name and letting me up in here to record all y'all nice, expensive, very, very expensive cars. And just to sit in them and touch them and look at them and some stuff I'd never get to do if I wasn't here. You feel? If I wasn't, you know, talking to them like how I'm talking to them. Look, this is the guy that was in my video. This is one of the big guys that does the thing. You feel? But yeah, he was on in my video just take stuff right here but yeah like i said let me, sw let me switch i'm gonna switch over to give give my last goodbye credits all right let me do one more spin around and around show y'all all right all right now for the end boom